Hi, this is Isha. You're watching a video with JustTutors.com. In today's video, we'll be learning about volume of combination of solids. In this lesson, we'll cover introduction of volume of solids, volume of combination of solids, and then conversion of solids from one shape to another. Let's start our lesson with some warm-up questions. So you can pause the video here to try these questions. If you are done, let's check our answers. So here we need to write the volume of a cube, which is S cube. Volume of a cuboid L times B times H. Volume of cone 1 over 3 pi R square H. Volume of sphere 4 over 3 pi R cube. If you have got all your answers correct, it's superb that you know all the formulas to work with volume of cube, cuboid, cone and sphere. We are good to move ahead to work with more combinational solids. Let's first know what is volume. The amount of space that a substance or object occupies, it is called its volume. Volume is measured in cubic units. The volume of a solid is number of cubes, that is one cubic unit required to fill it completely. For example, if you are working with area, you need to see that how many squares fill in the shape. That is why we use one squared unit. However, hand volume, we work with one cubic unit. Now, hand volume, when we are working with combination of solids, what we do? We find the volume of each individual solid and then we add them all together to get the entire volume of the combinational solid. Let's learn some important formulae. You can pause the video here, have a good look at all the volumes of different shapes like cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder, sphere, hemisphere. And now let's move ahead with this to work with one example. So here in this example, Ram runs an industry in a shed which is in a shape of a cuboid surmounted by half cylinder. If the base of the shed is of the dimension 14 meter cross 6 meters and the height of the cubical portion is 8 meters, find the volume of air that that particular shed can hold. So if you look at this picture, you can see that in order to find the volume of the shape, we need to find the volume of the cuboid and we need half of the volume of this cylinder. So let's work with the formulas now. So we are given the diameter, so we can find that diameter of the half cylinder is 6 meters. We know the height of the cylinder as 14 meter. Keeping in the formula for cuboid, we have length times by the breadth times by the height. And for cylinder, we have pi r square h. However, it's half. So we have multiplied 1 over 2 in order to half the area of a cylinder. Now, keeping all your values in the question. The answer is 870 meter cubed. We need to be careful because we are working with volume. The units need to be in cubed. Now conversion of one solid to another. So it's like when you think about melting of any solid. So if you melt any solid, it can change its shape. So sometimes we melt one solid and convert it into some another kind of solid. For example, think about converting a metallic sphere to a wire. Wire can be a thin, a very thin cylinder. The earth taken out from a well is spread around to make embankment to form a cylindrical shell. Similarly, you can think of some more examples. So in these kind of questions, we need to remember that volume of both the solids must remain same. Let's Make this more clear with one example. Let's see this example. A cone of height 24 centimeters and radius of the base is given 6 centimeters is made up by molding clay. A child reshapes it in the form of a sphere. So this cone is now a sphere. We need to find the radius of the given sphere. That'll be, that will be reshaped from the given cone. So here the cone, the volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h and volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. Because the volume remains the same, so we need to equate both of them. Now equating both of them, we get the vol value of r, that is the radius for the sphere, which is 6 centimeters. Let's look one more example. 
a rectangular sheet of paper with the given dimensions 44 and 18 centimeters is rolled along its length and a cylinder is formed we need to find the volume of that cylinder so we know the height height is basically this breadth of the rectangle will be now the height of the cylinder so it's 18 centimeters and in order to find the radius we know that this particular length will be the circumference of the cylinder like the base of the cylinder which is circle will be now 2 pi r that is circumference will be the length of this given rectangle so we'll calculate the value of r it's 7 centimeters now using the formula volume of cylinder pi r square h the answer is 2772 centimeters squared so oh we were basically finding the volume so it needs to be centimeter cube not the square right so we need to be really careful when we are calculating volume and when we are calculating area because we can't go wrong with the units it's very important to be careful with them now some practice questions for you you can pause the video here try these practice questions and when you are done with these questions make sure to check your answers with the answer slide provided thank you for watching this video for more please visit justtutors.com